Head Drakir. And welcome back to Blood Omen 2 for the sixth time, it seems. Uh, yet it. I was not expecting. Well, I probably should have expected this game to take a while longer than the others. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least. At least we haven't had a. So far, the episode where we are stuck on one part of the game for two hours or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think happened in two of the other games. Well, not two full hours, but still that we were ended up wasting a lot of time on something uh, dumb or trivial. Yeah. But for now, let's continue over here with this. Yep. We are in the industrial quarter. We just came, or did we just came come over with a trolley, or were we just going to do that? Uh, I, I think we're going to the trolley. Yeah. Mm. Also, never forget, I may know why you're, uh, why it's pixelated to me sometimes when it's not on my end. Okay. Well, it, it might be as you said, that it's so much time at your other side. But th this is this is a big maybe. This is from what I heard from another YouTuber when he had this problem. And that's the camera. Okay. You your own face, basically. Oh, that it's uh, draining a lot of. Uh, uh, what would it be draining? Like uh, broadband, but it's not being. That's not being shared. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm out to think about. That, that it probably should be concerning me, since you're not sharing your uh, screen to me in that, in that way. But it, it did make me a bit think. Uh, a little bit there, like what if? Okay, so, maybe something to look into more. And yeah, and it, because you know which YouTube I talk about, it's Cadicurus. Okay. It's not uh, you doing face cam because of uh, it only it only resulted in low video quality and crashes for him, so he stopped ever doing face cam. And his game screens just work more better due to it. I get the feeling we sort of skipped over something there because that door was locked, but the <laughs> progress all the same. There's really nothing good progress, honestly, at least something important. Now, this doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, one of those games where if you miss one thing, you can screw yourself out of the entire game unless there's a glitch or something. True. Oh gosh, maybe... Oh, already right, I shift point. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I get the feeling we had to sort of done a lot more there. Yeah, possibly. Oh, I was one of those. Yeah, and we need a weapon because this stupid game doesn't remember if we have a weapon or not. Oh, come on. They could at least program the dance. Yeah. Yeah, it, this game is very flawed, but at the very least, it can still be entertaining. Yeah, there, there are many good ideas going on, but some of them are not properly polished, so to speak. Yeah. This is sort of kinda meaning of wasted uh, potential. Yep. Oh dear. Let's see. Okay. Where the heck are we actually? Is this a dam or something? Good question. Uh, hello there. Oh. Uh, you can come to me. You're welcome. What the heck was she using the boom? Explosive bolts. Oh. Yeah, that, that's. That is. I am probably explaining why she has such a damn orbalist on her back. Yep. Okay, come here, you. 
Then I have explosive bolts and a bit more weight to them. Yeah, since you're basically strapping a grenade to the front <laughs> of the bolt. Yeah, hence you need a bigger crossbow to deal the extra weight. Okay. I'm glad we have a proper camera angler for Sona that could look so wrong in different angles. Uh. Heck, I still haven't found a way to accurate relief view up viewers. Uh, or at least something that updates live without me refreshing it every uh, so often. Uh, this combat is more interesting than in the Solar Weaver games, but it's it still gets repetitive. Yeah. It's block, block, dodge if needed. This is basically what you do in combat. Yeah, but it... Except for the big guys in armor, it is just mostly the same. Yeah. Let's... Okay, this really is a dam, and <laughs> speaking of the devil... Beacons! Can we draw this guy? Yes, we can. Oh, come on. Are each and every one of you going to get tired on the first blow? Or is your armor really that heavy that you can't even run over without exhausting yourself? Yeah, what's your thoughts that you think you're tired from running? But it would make sense if there were stupid attributes to rush over to you and waste all their... Uh, Endures on that. Yeah. Okay, let's get our favorite again. I'm tempted to see later on, on the Wikipedia if there's a name for that weapon. I just hope it's not simply. Okay, it seems that even when they don't have to run towards you, they get, they get exhausted on the first hits. Okay. Okay. Curious. <coughs> yes, yes, Kane. We know you're happy, or not at all. I think he stumped his toe or something. Let's see, I seems he has his lever in there. What the? Okay, that brings the elevator down. Oh, it's literally just the uh, the go up switch. Going up. Let's see anything of interest up here? Hmm. Oh, now I remember. We are here to infiltrate uh, some sort of factory to get our hands on a time stone of sorts. Yeah, and don't forget to get to save. Yeah. The game has been very stable lately. Yeah, but... Just in case. Know, just in case. I think that we are having uh, some rare crushes on some of the games. That set us back quite far. Okay, that was dumb of me. Nope. Okay, just going all in there. Yeah, along with your twin brother. I have to say, if someone swings at you with that big axe and able to swing it well, like Kane does. I don't think it's a good idea to try to block it. Okay, someone's uh, someone's having cold feet. Are you going to do anything more than just waggle back and forth? <laughs> I think he heard me. I think he's more ready to dodge your swing. Uh, never mind. 
<laughs> so he's basically like a um, season one uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge Gohan. How would I know? I didn't watch Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon Ball abridged. I didn't even watch that. <laughs> okay, now that's on the going on the on the to watch list. Oh no! What have we here? Okay, not really sure if that needed a, a little cutscene of its own. Mm. Uh. Oh, hello! And... Oh! <laughs> One of them has the double sp uh, swords. Wait, what? Are, are all of you jackasses just going to start dancing or I think we might have glitched the game. But to our advantage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally just dancing around us. Like, yeah. I could completely turn my back and they won't do anything. Okay. Of course. Reminds me when one time I somehow glitched uh, Never Winter Night. I was immortal all the get to the game through of one of the expansions. Until the final boss. <laughs> and that's a sudden hurt. wake up call. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm surprised that they have weapon right at once, but every unit seems to have their own weapons. First time we see two, two same units with different weapons each. Yeah. But they also said, what's for the way we saw those guys? Yeah, but it makes sense that they are here since, well, if such a big, you know, important item is stored here, then it would make all the more sense to have, uh, well, vampire detectors around. Uh, what do you think, then? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to abuse the hell out of this and just ramp, run past all of these idiots. Yep, and wait, are you sure about You didn't think the, do the, the um, double sword? Yeah, I think this thing deals more damage. As much fun as that thing would be, I'd rather deal a bit more damage. Alright, that makes sense. Do I wonder... Hmm. I guess we could compare them later and see if the, if this one does heavy damage, and if the other one does fast damage. Like, they can't even attack me. I <laughs> seem to stop it. Okay. Oh, you can't even stealth attack these guys. I think. Yeah, it makes sense for yeah that that damn thing that I'm wearing. It would be then all those attack someone that knows you're there. Yeah, then again I can't get behind him, so that also ha is a possible cause. Well, might as well kill him. Uh, because he's so scared, I think I'll just let him live for now, unless he gets himself crushed into something. Oh, uh, let, let's see if he's dumb enough to follow us in here. <laughs> nope. And our rewards? A new double sword. Oh, so you did pick it up now, yeah, after all. Yeah, but I, I'm still just keeping this thing for now. What the? So many shit points. Uh, I'm guessing they... Well, there are a lot more enemies now here, or it's a lot denser with them, so I'm guessing they were wanting to be nice on you by giving you more checkpoints. But uh, <laughs> we kind of broken that, haven't we? Yeah! I'm kind of confused, what the heck? Hey, wait, can we... Hold on. What do we have here? Can we still, still keep, keep anyone? Uh, let's have a little look. Well, if we can't stealth kill anyone, that could be mean there's something going on. Oh, ah, there, there we go. You have to be behind them. 
So that explains the other guy because, well, they're, they're constantly auto phasing you. Okay, if they remake or remaster this game, that would totally uh, lead to a complete bisection. Yeah, and they... and their earliest attempt at making sequels... They were really good on even with the nudity and blood and gore. Okay. And what have we here? A, little, a servant? Someone working on the conveyor belts? Ah! Like, seriously, why would you, why would you put a lever on a bomb like that? Yeah, sure you need to accept it from something, but, uh, maybe not have it so damn easy to do. Yeah, at least put like a, a padlock on it or something. Yeah. But again. Yeah, they definitely should do that, considering what they did in the last episode. Yeah, it's just some random idiot gets curious and nukes both himself and his friend. Yep, and holds the damn building. It gave bit random to find a mine behind the wall. It feels so weird in a way. Like, what you did not expect to see happen in Legacy of Cain. And more than what you expect to see in a cartoon. Yeah, that's one of the other complaints that people have about this that the setting, or the change setting, doesn't fit. Yeah. Uh, a body. We found a body, sire. Won't be the last. He is here. I sense the taint of his overblown head. Double the guards in the power chamber. He must not be allowed to approach the Nexus Stone. Who is it, sire? An old friend who will learn his place in the world at last. If you see or hear anything out of the ordinary, report to me at once. Uh, what? Uh, is this a new one? Because, yeah, this must be a new one. It looks a lot like Marcus from before, but... <laughs> we killed him, we uh, rung his belt quite good and... Oh, does no, no, it... No, 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 we met this guy before, I think. Where then? He's the one, he's the one with shiny shoes. The uh, guy. didn't we kill him to get the jump ability? No, no, not the that very first one. The, he came... He actually came after the jump one. But we started to wonder if this guy was uh, supposed to be inspired by his ring here, Jack. Okay, just... Apparently these people have just completely lifeless white eyes. Uh, yeah, it might be him. Uh, yeah, okay. so if it is him, then uh, he used to be so confused about he said he didn't work for his arrow man. But he, here he is working for them. Are both of their eyes just white? I am trying to I find a good... I think they turn white due to the procession. Yeah, it looks like this one has brown eyes. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, ah, here we go. And it seems that the procession has a range rather than a time limit. Oh. Sort of makes sense. Okay, that, that's just going to remain funny for the entire two hours, but that, that is going to cut down uh, quite a bit on, well, the time we were wasting fighting people, and this... Ah, there we go. Yeah, uh, I think that it's kind of, in a way, the last chance to catch up, considering how many times we lost the time due to uh, crashes, annoying... Uh, targeting system and all that. Yeah, and other shenanigans. Yes, like, just we should consider this as a... Yeah, the game throwing us a bone. 
Okay, and now we have to make our way through this machine. Okay. That's not actually doing anything. It it must be under maintenance or something. Uh, I'm just going to go and say that they aren't attacking because all of them are scared shitless of pain. The rest of the game is like this. Uh, amused. It it would start to get boring without any combat over time. But let's be honest, the combat isn't the main focus of this game. It's the story. Yeah. Though, so, actually, I think it would be a bit concerning if you have this problem with the bosses. True. For the moment you, you can get concerned if something may uh, break. And if that does happen, then we I can just restart the game and see if that changes anything. Yeah. Because th this is far from the first glitch that we had. We had the one where the servants were freaking the hell out when possessed. Oh yeah, we had that one. Oh, I am not getting close to those myself. Close to what? Yeah, there were more bombs there. Oh. Hello, sudden office. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> and there's two versions of the same painting here. Guess they really like it. And wait, I think I've seen that painting before in real life. Oh, wait, not. I think I've seen that thing in reference in other movies as such in the past. Hmm. I'm oh. not recognizing it, but then again, I'm no art aficionado. No, here's the thing. I still suspect that the developers, instead of making their own artwork, they took as many famous or half famous ones as possible and just threw it off out the walls. But we have seen some you did recognize. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about. <coughs> okay. No that worries. was. That was sudden. Yeah, Sometimes that happens. And I'm half expecting that they're gonna try and throw in Mona Lisa. Hey, if anywhere, what? that's is likely to end up in um, the Seraphan. Uh, Lord's place or something. Let's remember that. Also, Please, right now, is Kane uh, doing that for the control, or is he trying to silence that? Uh, someone turn off it off. What's with my English today? I swear, something with the weather. A quick to turn off the moon around the uh, three and four. I get sluggish due to it's been so windy still. <clears throat> also, oh, something to think about. Um, if all of those bombs go off the second you pull the lever, uh, you're going to have to send a lot of people to their death if you want to use those as weapons properly. Yeah. Th Actually, yeah. Like, yeah, you'd done. think at the very least there'd be like a, a 10 second timer or something. At the absolute least. Yep. So, that is a design flaw. Unless they want to just use oh, a. What do we have? Some other type of step stand dance and have them do that. Then again, that, that just used to be cruel, but they apparently are quite cruel, so why not yeah. more? What do we have here? Or maybe it's all to lure out it, you know, maybe it's a uh, little schmuck bait. You know what that trope is? That was not a hero about it. 
Uh, well, let's just say that the idiot that pulled the lever in the cutscene was a smuck, and, well, the lever was the bait. It's basically uh, a trap made for idiots. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Like, uh, those cake whenever a game or something tells you to not press the big red button, you know some people are going to do that just to see what the hell will happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I'm too really glad I finally have a name for that. Is every, is every machine here malfunctioning? Or are we putting it into repair mode or something by pulling the levers? Also, how the hell is someone supposed to get around here? <laughs> Without passing through these stupid things. Oh yeah, that's a good question. I don't know that the holes there in the floor or the service thing, but wait, no, then you won't have it in the office. Wait, why do you even have that in the office? It could be maintenance access tunnels, but that would still not be well main access. Alright, fine. Better? Ow, that's not my own ears. Oh, hello. Wait. This thing is running now. Wait, was that loud on your end? Uh, yeah, it wasn't ear piercing, but it, did, it was quite obvious. Alright, so it got a bit ear piercing for myself. It feels like everything here is just falling apart, uh, with or without our doing. Yeah. Is it the moment I start to wonder? Is it just the enemies that fight, or are also the machines fight? Like, is the game falling apart? Let's see, what uh, did that do? Like, I, I guess we know the soul if in case if, if the game is getting more and more bugged up. Yeah, but if it is bugging out, then we can't just probably restart it. That has worked before. True. And well, for now at least, it's uh, hurrying things along quite a bit, because yeah, yeah previous we. Previously, uh, it probably would have taken us like uh, an hour or so just to get here, and we had 30 minutes of ish now. Hmm. But yeah, um, something I was saying earlier is that a lot of fans did not like that the setting of this game is so cyber uh, or steampunk-ish that they think it didn't fit with the rest of the series. It kind of fits due to, you know, time travel all that. Hmm. Well, um, this is technically still in the past. This, Chronologically, this would be like the second game in the timeline. Yeah. Do it again. The humans here have obviously had help from someone outside. Yeah. That is a bit more advanced. And we know which race that is very advanced within uh, magic and science. Yeah. So it makes sense in that regard. So I, I don't mind it too much. However, yeah. The smock drop was a bit uh, too cartoony. You know, it was quite funny. Ah, there we go. I'm checking between my two screens because we had talked about how uh, sometimes it, it's odd that there is such a difference in uh, lighting 
between my screens, or between what the recording is showing and what I'm seeing on the screen. Since then, we I've uh, messed around with my setting, my screen settings, and apparently it was set in a sort of uh, night mode uh, that basically darkened everything up a, a bit more. Uh, so now it's set to a lot to a, a higher brightness. Uh, I'm still noticing some difference, though more in contrast. I'm seeing this place more like an orange, and here it's on the OBS it's showing a brown. But maybe that is because this screen is set to something. Some other sort of... Oh, oh it's set to low blue. Low blue? Yeah, low blue lights. But that doesn't... That hasn't seemed to... I'm moving it around different settings now, and that isn't really uh, changing the color smudge. Hmm. Okay, I'll just leave it on the normal stand. The yeah. <coughs> normal option. Okay. It does mean that this thing is a lot brighter. Actually, let's see how much of that reflects on my... on the webcam. Yeah, quite a bit, so I'll leave it out in low blue instead then. So I don't end up looking like an over-exposed uh, vampire or something. Um. You know you got walk into a yoke, didn't you? Well, you didn't make it, so I didn't walk into it. You just become a wounded king. Let's see. Nope, no. right, baby. I need to get you a makeup kit. <laughs> uh, you'd have to get it shipped here, and that would cost you an arm and a leg. Uh, 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 I have a spare. Um, serious question, would you trust me with makeup? Um, I, I don't really like things touching my face, which is why I typically slice apples instead of just eating them uh, as is. Okay. At least it's a different song now. This this place. Apparently, this is the time you say definitely save for this. Look like uh, maybe boss encounter. Yeah, and yeah, ninety five percent. We are going to face a boss. I probably should have expected that it would activate when I walked into the center. You didn't. Yeah, typically I stuff like that activates when you walk on. Onto it, at, and ah, uh, that must be the Behold stone. The great Cain, now a common thief. The fiend that dogged my shadow showed himself at last, and in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further, and now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me, but I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly, and all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphim Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. 
While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me. Also, something that rather subtracts from this game is, well, the lack of music during parts like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks like we'll have to fight this guy by blocking, but yeah, since the bus. <laughs> Since things are a bit bugged, uh, actually, is there any is there any reason why these things are blowing smoke or air, or is that not supposed to be of an effect yet or something? Oh, I I think that's sort of freezing him or freezing Kane at least. So do we have to lure it? It it sounds like fire, but it's not. Affecting his health, from what I can see. I think that's water. Like steam. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's taking, uh, taking your health. Okay. Uh, yeah, so to fix the bug, we'll have to quit the game for a quick bit. And then restart it. Don't forget to set it to one processor. Maybe that was part of why it was freaking out like that. Wait, you forgot to do it? No, I did it. But, yeah, that could be screwing with the game in some other ways. Uh, one more thing is to send this... Share the screen to you. There we go. Uh, something is really... Annoying my nose for some reason. I thought I had a. Ah, here it is. Eh, excuse me for a second. Don't tell me I have a nose scratcher. No, just a tissue. T oh. Alright. Okay, uh. Now it's holding my mouse hostage again for some reason at the borders of the screen. Come on. You might as well move that inside so in the case that happens again. Okay. At least it's not a very long cutscene and... Okay, a bit odd that it has to come back down or did we miss it coming down earlier? Okay, <laughs> I went over it a few times before it finally took. Behold the great cane, now a common thief. The fiend that dogged my shadow showed himself at last, and in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further. And now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me. But I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly. And all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphim Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that vulture will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me. Now that we're 
we faced three of these guys. And uh, okay. Uh, now that we faced three of these guys, I can also say that, well, th these bosses, while different in uh, st how you fight them in appearance, where they are very alike to the point of, that I, if it weren't for the clothes, I would not be able to tell these idiots apart. I think they all have it, they're most stereotypical vampire names post -born. Yeah, Marcus, Sebastian, uh... Faust. Yeah, Faust makes some sort of sense, because, well, it has some, uh, biblical slash... Wait, are all of these guys named after biblical characters or something? Or... No, Faust wasn't biblical, I think. Latin names. Like, uh, romance. Oh, oh, that, this helps so much that it starts you back here. Uh, actually, oh, I think, I know, it's more like Holy Roman Empire, like, you know, and all that. Could be. Oh, and <laughs> I should have dodged that. Um, it seems that the water spray is hurting him as well. Okay, so basically this boss fight, or at least this stage, is like one big sumo match. <laughs> Face him, you... Yeah, this is going to be a very long and boring boss fight. Because when we knock him back far enough, he's just going to charge back in. Mm. And he deals a lot more damage than we do. Yeah, we did skip a lot, which would have cost us a lot of experience, but let's be honest, the, bi the increases haven't been that big, really. Okay, he got stuck there for a moment. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, this is just going to be a knockout brawl. Or a drag out brawl. Yeah, we we've only taken out a quarter of his health so far, and he's all, we're already down to a third. Okay. Okay. okay, Speedy Gonzalez, the hell are you up to? Okay, the hell were we supposed to do there? I didn't see anything to jump to. And in, even in the whirlwind there, we were taking damage. Okay, yeah, now I'm wondering as to where I walk. And I realized that that big thing you've been standing on is probably made out of copper. Come on, fucking cheapskate. You can't switch fast enough between blocking and dodging for some of those attacks. Like the red ones, you can dodge quite easily with a bit of uh, attention, but the yellow ones, not. Oh, come the hell on! I uh, yeah, and we have no, we have no way to heal in this. Have a shower, you jackass. <laughs> okay, that seems to work better at at evading that attack. Just stay out of his reach. Uh, that leaves us open to a possible combo. Fuck off. It, you, you just can't move and dodge at the same time. You have like a split, a half second window there to actually avoid that. Okay, those, those attacks are more annoying because I don't think they actually even do real damage if you're blocking. Yeah, that's what we have to do to deal more damage to him, but just slapping him around with this also works. And that was in response to uh, Crow Present Fire in chat. Alright. There we go. It does deal damage to him, but I think the, the Fury attack 
heals more. Oh, here we go again with this. What are we supposed to do here? Oh, oh. Are we supposed to just... I think we're supposed to just run around in a circle outside of this, but not in the steam. Sometimes he doesn't even do that attack. He just seems to run over to a random spot on the plate. seconds. At the very least, I can say that we don't have to suffer through the cutscene leading into this uh, every time. That's true. That is true. Okay, also from Cobras and Fire in chat, but it might also stun him. It's been forever since I played this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for that you also had to play through this because it is very clearly subpar to the rest of the franchise. Yeah, it, again, they have many good ideas to all but they yeah, a lot more. I don't know, this uh, OE was my f second favorite, but that's because over time I became a fan of Kane. Yeah, Kane is a cool character, but uh, okay, that was his own fault for staying in the steam there. <laughs> One, okay. Yeah, in part I might have been spoiled because I've been playing the Soul Reaver games before this. Uh, and well, have heard that this was supposed to be the black sheep of this franchise that people just didn't talk about. So, yeah, I might have, I might have been coming into this with... Uh, bias beforehand. Uh, 
Yeah, as, as much as we are complaining now, it's not like we didn't have our fun with this game. <laughs> Especially with the, the weapons and the stealth kills. <laughs> Oh yeah. And there's Darwin Award. Ah, there we go. There. Oh, that one's coming here. Oh, come the hell on! What the heck did oh, he do? He, he dropped, he basically drop kicked us from the wall. Okay, come on, you little troll. Yeah, we basically just have to try and evade his attacks as best as possible. And throw him into the steam if possible. If, if we drive him off the circle with normal attacks like there, if... Okay, he doesn't just dodge sideways. <sighs> that was my own fault. Come on, you mother... Okay, at least we got here quicker. Okay, I did... I, I think he did give a signal that he was going to attack because he's, he spoke up there. He said, like, here I come, Kane, and then he vanished from sight. Oh, he's on the wall. Okay, he's just going to repeat this, so what is the deal? Do we have to... I think we have to dodge his attack when he comes in. And there he goes again, sicky motherfucker. Okay. I can I could people me oh. people rate it in this one. What? When that happens, you've got to run in time with steam jets as they go in a circle, or if you're lucky, get behind the vortex. But I remember that being real tricky. Again, Cobra's on fire. As well as, I think you have to be across from him so he jumps into the vortex itself. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna think about this stuff, but... Yeah, I think it's amazing, I think it's not really... Big miss. Okay, yeah. after that we'll still have to figure out a third phase, probably. But, yeah, the legacy of Kane's Francis has <laughs> proven me to be an idiot who just can't read the room uh, on multiple occasions. Yeah, so I'll be giving you the benefit of the doubt there, or actually, I'm not sure that sometimes 
they make the handmade is very obviously extremely unnecessary hard to read the damn room. Come on. Don't you fuck. Yeah, you're not bothering at, at all. You're being helpful. <laughs> we went to uh, just as we feed his ass into the next phase. Okay, stop pointing and get here. Almost got me there. See, sometimes to make it obvious, sometimes you're like, what the fuck, where are you spoke <laughs> looking when you came up into this nonsense? Yeah. Yeah, you have that with a lot of games from this era. Like the, the 90s and zeros. When you're blocking, you can't move sideways to dart, so that, that, that those two systems get in the, each other's way. Yeah, true, it. Ah, but they were the best games when you could unlock stuff instead of pay for it with real money. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> there, there are still games like that being made these days, but they are a lot more rare. That, that's uh, Cobras again. Yeah, that, that's uh, a lot of recent games have that you that they make the games either extremely grindy. Or, yeah, allow you to unlock things early by paying things. Like real money. Yeah, that's that sort of that's bullshit. Yeah, that's that is kinda... Yeah, some of my favorite games are from the 90s and zeros. Uh, uh, almost got me there. Yeah, please mark him up off me what my favorite game is. For it is hard for me to pick. I'm the kind of a collection of favorites, not like the D, the D, not the one game. There's no one game for me. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like an idiot. Okay, thanks for that. Oh, come on, we don't... He goes right back to it. We don't get the opportunity to kick his ass a bit. Yeah. Okay, this... That does mean that this part of the game, or fight, is a lot easier. You just have to keep track of where his dumbass is on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. 
It is doing massive damage to him, indeed. So now we have it double confirmed. <laughs> Uh, I guess that sort of makes up for just the, the plain brawling parts of the first half. Let's see, does he learn after making the same mistake three times? Or is he going right back? Okay, so he does learn. <laughs> uh, what now? Uh, uh, but what? Uh, he's trying. Uh, he's, he's trying to break the gem. Okay. Yep. Get, get back up there, Kane. Okay, if it breaks, it will explode and kill you both. Charm his little helper. Okay, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, there he is. Oh, oh come on. Not this glitch again. He, he's stuck. And I, I can't completely do nothing except break the stupid spell. And let me guess, when we jump back in... We can't even use it now. There we go. And no, he just gets stuck. Okay, another restart, hopefully to work that bug out of the system. Ugh. Yeah, I'm happy we got, uh, were able to speed up the whole process. But yeah, the game literally took the phone away from us at the boss fight. Okay, Let's share the game to Drakir because he's watching over Discord. Bring up the task you. manager again. Details, bo2.exe, set affinity, uncheck all, check CPU zero, okay, and there we go. Hey, I'm gonna grab a sandwich while you prepare, Harry. Okay, you won't be missing anything new anyways, uh, except for this guy blathering off for the numerous amount of time. <laughs> And needing to... Come on, does it really not trigger if you jump onto it? Yeah. Uh, I can see why. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, every game every game has its fans. I'm not going to oh, tell you it, uh, that, that you're now bad or something for liking this game. I'm just saying that, to me personally, once. it's annoying the frick the out of me. I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further. And now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me. But I learned that lesson 200 years ago. I really need to check the if there's a way to force in a skit cutscene thing. To our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly. And all my doom. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphon Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. 
I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You have the smallest chance of defeating me. That's exactly what the other two idiots said before you. And yeah, both of them got their asses handed to them after a few tries. <laughs> I should remember to put that back on. Welcome back. Yeah, it better burn you, little bitch. Oh, crap, it's what someone. Yeah, I'm. viewers. I rarely swear. Yeah, but this guy is just pissing the post of us off. Yeah, the, the only one that actually mostly sworn against someone has not been actually that person, it's been a character. But if it's come to real people, yeah, I, I can't swear it as a real person, really. It's extremely few I can do with it that way. Uh, uh, but Okay, that was out of my control. Uh, Cobras and fire again. No, you gotta enjoy the beautiful arrogance of Ken. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he he is a full arrogant bastard. And um, yeah, he he is interesting in that he's he is a villain, but also sort of a hero. But only in that the case of uh, he doesn't want other people to destroy the world, so he can rule it instead. <laughs> Does that make him an anti-hero? Um, I'm, I'm, I'd say Kane straddles the line between an anti-hero and anti-villain. Or actually, he, he's probably more on the line between a full-on villain and an anti-villain. Yeah, he he is certainly isn't a hero, or at least a good guy, since he he really only acts in his own best interests. Uh, oh, miss. Hey, come on. One positive is that we can really read his uh, patterns now. But, ah, uh, there we go. He's going all Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Vamphog? Vamphog! Ah, uh, uh, just in time with that one. Okay, we are low on the health, but I think we can... S yeah, once we're here, it's pretty easy to get to the last stage. Okay? Hopefully it won't bug out this time. Yeah, okay, <laughs> the fury attack is quite fun. At least these don't start where we are. Like, that would be really cheap with the steam vents. And they stop when he stops. I thought this was wonder. I feel like I noticed the weakness that all of these vampires have as possible. Alright. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I guess that Sorry. comes with being a vampire. Just becoming a complete arrogant asshole. 
Maybe if we switch to another power for a bit, then switch back. Okay, just a tap, aim it, tap. One more time. After that, I, I guess I think I'm going to have to call the stream just from sheer frustration. Because if it just keeps glitching on that, then th then we can't progress. That's plain and simple of it. Yeah, but that's a game-breaking bug. And we've we had it before that they um, that they started screwing up. Well, that's a character that we possessed or charmed. Basically, the same thing uh, was just stuck s screaming for help. But that passed after we restarted the game. If if it just keeps getting stuck on that, then yeah, then this might be the first stream series to end because the game just just un unplayable. And no, don't end task. Just remove this stupid task manager. Okay. Once more, let go of this mouse. For some reason, at times, it just refuses to let my mouse go from the game box. Just, there's more beyond it. A whole new world of screens and other things to annoy and click. Just let it go. And no, that was not uh, frozen. Yeah, I was trying to reference or something. <laughs> I really don't get why it gets stuck like this at times. Mm. Maybe like this. Yeah, now, now it finally does let go. So I can share it. To and like a Stockholm Syndrome sufferer, the mouse goes right back. And is stuck again. Come on. I really don't get why it just gets stuck like this. Uh, uh, this time it just doesn't want to let go. Come what the hell on. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get it. But now it lets but let me see, let's see the moment I click it's stuck again. Yeah, the game is just Okay, quit game. Maybe if I start it up yet again. And just to be sure move Discord into the same area as it because I have it on the sec I usually have it on my second screen. Hmm. CPU one, okay, and ta exit task manager. Discord share screen there. That's a workaround. <sighs> Final attempt. And I should put OBS back on top on the second screen. Okay, whilst these two are going to bitch at each other, I'm going to take a quick look on the PC Gaming Wiki. If there is a way to skip cutscenes. Oh, the Dragon King, now a common thief. 
Yeah, the in the green dog my shadow himself at last. And in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further. And now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me. But I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly. And all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The son of a lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! You think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me. Take Krovus again. Maybe if you didn't piss off so many people in your youth, you wouldn't be have so many enemies now, Kane. You ever think of that? Uh, no, with Kane, piss people off is his uh, standard mode. The secondary mode is to kill them. And well, he's he's great at both. Versions. Yeah, the other one has its own appeal in that it, it shows him for as monstrous as his personality is. Uh, yeah, there's also always a good uh, place for uh, for more human-looking designs. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah I think this is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah young vampire king. Yeah. That's how he looked like in the first game, uh, very first game. And yeah, there wasn't 3D effects then to really show how he would have looked like. Well, they had to get, they had only 3D effects they had that were physically cut scenes, and they were, yeah. Crude. <laughs> yeah, very crude. <laughs> Probably going to get killed on this round again. <laughs> like I said, the Cobras and Fire, I always thought he mellowed out in his older age, like around Defiance, he eventually came around, you know, a little, <laughs> just a little to it. Uh, yeah, a bit. He, he Are you just going to stand and point to me? Another glitch. At least, does the steam hurt him? It does not. The hell? Okay, there was some sort of. Yes. Okay, the invisible wall's broken. It is a advantage or a issue. But come on, is he mocking us? 
Let's just get killed and hope this bug resolves itself. Okay, uh, Cobus, uh, that first part of that comment looks a bit like it might contain some more spoilers. So I'll not read that one because as much as I'm bashing on this game, I do want to find out a bit more on the story itself. Yeah, because basically I'm playing this, Brian. Uh, it's not, if it's nothing too big, it's something that we figured out from the, well, some of the promotional material of this game uh, before. That, well, they were trying to make Kane and Uma a couple or something. Come on. Hey, what? Uh, yeah, they have a baby, don't they? Oh, wait, oh, they're zero. Uh, no, I haven't. This is basically the first time I'm playing this game, and it's it's nothing too bad because, well, this game is, as far as I know, pretty much non-canon. Okay, there's no time, no invisible wall. Almost got me there. Hmm. Yeah, I must say that I'm really hoping that this entire series gets the uh, remaster or remake uh, treatment someday. Uh, though at the moment I think Crystal Dynamics is in sort of hot waters after the mess up with the Avengers game. So either they go back to their roots with something, or uh, yeah, they keep messing things up. Though a big failure like that should typically lead to some rethinking. Yeah, there are all rumors about remaking Silver. And that's been proved to have been many new games planned that get totaled all the time. But for some reason, most of them have not been by Christopher Nanny. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And there has there has been extremely long. It, there has been extremely long times between games and uh, true sequels or remakes. Um, some better than others. And it was like 15 years between uh, the fourth season of Samurai Jack and the fifth and final season. Uh, I think it was, yeah, Defiance 2006. Defiance was actually the first game of these that I uh, played myself and streamed. Uh, though that was before I started uploading to these streams to YouTube. So that one is sort of lost to time. And I... I only now notice that I forgot to switch back to this. Yeah, that should help at... Ton. Get back here and get fucked. Swing and a miss. Uh, yeah, that Nosgoth game that got cancelled. Uh, it would have, it would have seen, it probably would have been interesting at the very least. Maybe a sort of like a Splinter Cell 
uh, multiplayer, whilst do the Splitter Cells actually still have multiplayer? The last one that I played was like a blacklist or something. I never played three Splitter Cells, so I do not know. Yeah, I've played most of the Splinter Cells, there's only two that I haven't, and that's the most recent two. Like, well, Blacklist and another. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, then they had that Black Sun or whatever, yeah, which was called, and everyone's like, this demo sucks and this isn't like the obtained, so there's trash to feel fast. Uh, yeah, that is what, uh, <laughs> that's what Drakir basically told me what he knew of, uh, that game. <laughs> that it was like, a lot of the hell. But yeah, with a lot of games these days getting remakes and remasters, I, I still forget what's really the difference. I wouldn't be surprised if someone were to try Legacy of Kain. I think, I think what remastered is it improves the controls, it plays better, gives me a lot of bug fixing and such, and it just runs smoother. And a remake is, yeah, basically you redo the entire thing, a lot of the story and uh, the controls. Basically you redo it from ground up. It does it, Kane! Storm of this game, Odyssey, is a remake, it's not a total remake. Yeah, the I'm planning on playing Soulstorm eventually when it gets off the Destroy. Epic Game Store. Um, I've said this a few other times when speaking about uh, Epic exclusives, but uh, yeah, I'm not against them offering better pay or better percentages to uh, developers. It's that, well, they're being absolute dicks with making things exclusive <laughs> to their store, even if only temporarily. Yeah, and they are also having very bad services as well, in general, in other areas. Oh, come on! <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to have to find something to try and fix this. Perhaps there, there is a patch available online, but the maker hides it and his other works behind a pay screen or a paywall. So yeah, I'll just have to see how much he wants. I think it was like five euros, but. Mm. Not expensive, but it sounds so dickish. Yeah. On the, on the one hand, uh, people do deserve to be compensated for the work that they do. On the other hand, to just outright demand a certain amount and not just have it like those pay anything you want stuff. Yeah, that does make it. But I'm of course there will of course be people who just say like one cent and then they buy a. You could at least set a minimum of one buck. Yeah, but I also feel like like it could be a trap for scamming or worse. Yeah. <sighs> but for now then, in two days, we'll attempt again. I'll install a next game just in case it goes bad. Um, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. I, I will pay for the patch, see if that stabilizes this game. Actually, I th no, I, I think I'll do one better. I There's multiple saves here, so I can just do... <clears throat> I can just install the patch, do this battle again, and if it gets still gets stuck, then yeah, then the playthrough is done for. But if it isn't, then I'll just uh, save on the second slot here, 
and in two days I will load in on this save so for once more we can get through those two bitching at each other but hopefully finally finish the fight and yeah not end the game right here and now yeah well yeah it is, i don't want to adjust the story yet until i see the full story yeah the only other way that we could really continue it would be like looking up a cutscenes video on youtube uh, but that would get into a lot of copyright uh, stuff or so not that i actually get <clears throat> Now that I actually uh, get revenue on any of these videos, but it's would probably the best cutscene is coming up. <laughs> okay, best for you, because uh, yeah, being that far only to not be able to play because the game itself, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, Kane is pure stone cold. But okay, I I'll pay for the patch, install it, fight this. Uh, bitch again if it pa if I can get through then I will uh, in then the next time on Thursday I will play this game again if it doesn't then I'll just uh, grab someone's video of the cutscenes and then we can just uh, yeah mystery science theater 3000 the rest of that so that does feel a rather cheap to do, almost, though. True, but we're, we're doing these playthroughs for the story and fun. Yeah. And, yeah, we can't well finish the story if we can't well finish the game. <clears throat> yeah. Uh. <sighs> uh, if you can't, then there's always the VODs. And, well, on YouTube, where... I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've still left my name the same as with this. Like Hillian on YouTube, I've put it in the tags of the videos uh, so I can be found on that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to self-advertise further than that because that would just be sucking my own cock. But for now then, anyone's be watching now, later, or on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you especially, Cobras and Fire and Turk here. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, next time we'll continue with Blood Omen 2, be it by game or by uh, video. <coughs> but until then, until then. Be safe, folks.